What's up YouTube, it's Mike aka Plastic Life back with another review, this time on the Medicom Toys Mafex Night Crusader Batman from the Batman Nightfall series. We've waited quite a while for this Batman, I pre-ordered it a long time ago on Hobby Search and it's finally here. I paid about 130 Canadian dollars after fees and conversion, I've read a lot of mixed opinions based on the promo images, but after getting this figure in hand I think it may be my favourite Batman figure in my collection. Let's get into the review and I'll explain more. The classic blue and grey suit with yellow oval symbol has always been my favourite look for Batman throughout the years so I'm really happy to get this version from Affex. I think they did a really good job. I really love this capsule belt instead of the pouch belt, very classic. I think the head sculpt came out pretty good. It's just very similar to the Mafex head sculpt just with kind of more pointy ears. Most of these parts appear to be reused from previous Mafex figures like the Batman hush line, the shoulders and biceps and forearms, they look pretty much identical. I'm thinking that the chest and the torso area are newer sculpts. This appears more slender and more defined. The legs look uh, pretty much identical. Same with the, the boots and the feet. Just look at the back of the figure. Very muscular, very well defined. The fins on the gauntlets, those appear to be a newer cut. First thing I want to do with this Batman though is just get rid of this cape. I'm not a fan of this design with the spikes here. I actually don't even recall seeing this cape more than a couple of times um, in the comic books. I can't think of any off the top of my head so if you know exactly where this cape comes from let me know in the comments. So he comes with an additional cape that does not have the spikes on it. So we're gonna go over how to just change that up right now. So here's how this is engineered. You have a tab that goes into the chest and you have two tiny little pegs that go into the traps of Batman on his back there. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the head. And unlike previous Mafex figures, we don't have a articulated neck joint. We just have the ball peg there. You're going to want to just lift the cape up and untab the small little tabs that go into his back and then come into the front here and just pry that off. And then you get the tab just on the upper chest there and you get the two tabs on the traps. So this thing is articulated, the lower neck joint is articulated but when you do put the cowl on uh, it's encased so it doesn't really provide any movement and most of the movement is just going to come from the ball on the top of the neck joint there. So take the other cape and make sure that the pegs are sticking out. Slide that over top of the neck joint and peg that in the chest. Flip over to the back side of the figure and just make sure that you align those tabs and push them down like so. And that holds, that holds well, it's not coming off. And then just to finish off the piece you're going to put the head sculpt on top and then that will hold everything in place. I just really love this look. This is already aesthetically my favorite Batman in my collection. So without the horns sticking out of the cape there, you get a very classic looking Batman. One concern that popped up in the comment section of the promo images was people's concern that this Batman would not have a neck or just look like he has no neck. I think anatomically speaking that this looks correct. If we think that this is the top of the shoulder and you can see some trapezoid there going up into the head, I think it's safe to say that he doesn't look like he has no neck. So I think they engineered this pretty good. But let me know what you think. Uh, I know a lot of companies, they do suffer from bringing the shoulders just down way too low and then the figure just looks like he has massive traps and a very tall neck. And I think this looks good. So let's get into the articulation. If you have Mafex figures uh, in the past, especially the Batman Hush line, you're going to know exactly what you're getting with this figure. But people were worried about the neck, so let's take a look at that. Because we don't have a double neck joint like how we did in previous figures though, this Batman can still look up approximately that much and look down about that much. You can still rotate side to side. 
and you can also tilt the head about that much to each side. We have our typical MAFX drop down shoulder. Arms can move out to the side about that much. They can go forward until the cowl stops them. We have butterfly joints in the shoulders that can come across the chest approximately that much. We have our typical MAFX bicep swivel and we have double jointed elbows that produce about that much movement. Our wrists are standard for MAFX. They go in and out and then you can rotate the pin upwards for them to go up and down. We have a dumbbell joint in the upper waist and a dumbbell joint in the lower waist. That produces about this much crunch and about this much extension. I have already chipped the paint. Fantastic. The upper joint can move side to side. The lower joint can as well. Mine is a little bit stiff right now, so I'm not going to do any rotation for fear of snapping the dumbbell joints in there at the moment. I'll probably just add some shock oil uh, into that joint so that it moves a little bit better. Our legs are on a drop down, allowing you to kick about that far forward, about that far backwards, to the side about that much. We have a nice double jointed knee. We can flex our ankles forward and back and in and out. And we also have toe articulation. Our cape is wired in four places. One, two, three, and four. That's gonna produce some pretty good movement there. Now the gauge of the wire in the cape is pretty thin, so I do worry about the durability of this over time, but it does hold its pose very well. And it's light enough that you can just kind of put it back in to position to have that cape draping over Batman's shoulders. Batman comes with two additional head sculpts. The first being this grinning long horned head sculpt, and that looks really, really good. I'm really happy with the way this came out. You can use this as either Bruce Wayne or probably John Paul Valley as well. He was very ruthless when he donned this costume, so that would fit. We also have Batman with a rebreather that's attached. It doesn't come off. So there's only really one thing for under underwater scenes if you wanted to do that. You can use this head sculpt. And then of course we have our just plain neutral head sculpt. I really wish that we would have got a grinning head sculpt with this size horns, but unfortunately they did not include that. Batman comes with six pairs of hands in total. First we have these flat finger kind of swimming through the water with the rebreather on hands. We have wide open gripping hands. We have very relaxed neutral hands. We have item holding or trigger finger hands. And we have another pair of fists that are just slightly opened. And then of course the fists that come on the figure originally. Batman comes with an additional cowl piece. That's just the cowl with no cape. So you can use that for essentially the underwater shots if you wanted to do that or just displaying Batman without a cape. Just go back to earlier in the video when I showed how to remove and put on the new cape. It's the exact same thing, the peg and the two pegs at the back. Batman also comes with a fully wired battering grappling tool. I don't know what you want to call this, but it comes rolled up in a wire. You can just kind of un unravel it. It is fairly long. You can kind of pose that however you want. It's okay. It's, it's, a, it's a nice accessory to have. Uh, I would like to have seen it come with some kind of, you don't know, either a grapple gun or something. But um, otherwise, yeah, you'll have, a, you'll have fun trying to straighten this out when you're taking shots or displaying the figure. And lastly, we get our Mafex standard stand, uh, as well as a posable arm, some connector pieces to the figure, and a straight vertical piece if you wanted to have no articulation in the stand. 
Unfortunately, Batman doesn't come with any unmasked head sculpts, so what we're going to do is we're going to try the Mafex Hush Batman head, and we're going to try the Jean-Paul Valley head from the Azrael Batman and see if that works. Pluck off that head. See if we can connect the Hush Batman. So that doesn't fit. Uh, I think the hole is just too small on the Hush Batman. Let's see if the Jean-Paul Valley head sculpt fits. Again, I think that's just too small. So unfortunately, uh, we can't get any of the heads to fit on. Uh, but if you used some blue tack, I think you can get, get that to work. Might be sitting too high though. So this is the neck from the Batman Hush figure, and this is our new Nightfall Batman. You can see that the ball peg is smaller on the previous iterations, the Hush Batman. So that really sucks. I am quite bummed out that we can't use any of the other head sculpts from the previous Mafex figures. That would have been really cool to be able to use Jean-Paul Valley's head uh, since he did don this suit uh, when Batman was out of commission. And we don't have a, a Bruce Wayne head. If you want, though, if you you know don't really care, you can just kind of make that hole wider with a drill bit or something, and then you'll be able to connect that head on there. Up to you if you want to kind of go that route, customization. Here's Batman with the big horned head sculpt on. Looks really, really cool. Super intimidating. All right, so let's get into some comparisons now. First, we have Jean-Paul Valley from the Nightfall line. The man who took over as Batman when Bane broke him. So, Azrael Bat, as Bat stands, just a little bit shorter. And what would have been cool is if we got these gauntlet pieces uh, that can be, you know, swapped out onto these gauntlets. Because Jean-Paul Valley, when he donned this suit, he did use some technology in his gauntlet to make these claws. Uh, that would have been a cool swap in. But unfortunately, we didn't get anything like that. But these two look awesome together. Next, we have our Mafex Hush Batman. So totally different era. Um, but all the parts you can see are, are pretty much the same. Legs appear to be the same. The upper arms and the biceps and the gauntlets appear to be the same. Hands very similar. This is a very, very like grayed out matte finish. A lot darker. And, of course, the shorter ears. The Nightfall Batman is like a couple of millimeters taller. But two totally different eras of Batman. Speaking of different eras of Batman, here is the Dark Knight Returns Batman. Completely different style. So... All three of these Batman from totally different eras, but made by the same company. They look awesome. Here's Batman next to a Mafex Hush Superman. Again, different timelines. If you have a different head sculpt for this Superman, if you have a more like 80s, early 90s style Superman head sculpt, you can probably make that work. Here's Batman next to Mafex Joker from the Hush line. Here's Catwoman and Poison Ivy, but they weren't really wearing these outfits during the time of this Batman's reign. If you want to mix and match your lines, here he is next to the Golden Age Batman from Mezco Toys. And if you need some goons to beat up, here are the Marvel Legends tracksuit mafia. So final thoughts on this figure. I personally think this is the best Batman that's out right now. I initially thought that the Hush Batman was the best Batman of all time. It's really good. I think this one is just slightly better. Now, that's not to say that this figure is perfect and without complaints. I am unhappy that there is no unmasked head sculpts. I'm also unhappy that there is no neutral face for the long ears and no grinning face for the short ears. That's a bummer. There is a lack of accessories on this figure as well. But I am happy with the overall appearance of this Batman, the way it moves. I'm happy that I don't have any, you know, tight joints, loose joints, and I'm going to be 
posing this Batman up quite a bit. So, all in all, I think for me at least, this is the perfect Batman. If you found this review helpful, hit that thumbs up and subscribe buttons and leave a comment below on whether or not you picked up this figure. Head on over to at plastic.life on Instagram for more action figure pics. Always remember, at the end of the day, this is your collection. Buy whatever makes you happy. I hope you'll catch my next videos. Take care.